is uh, in Citrix the Windows Explorer on top of Minitab and so Windows Explorer is right here at the very end of the Citrix login area and so uh, when you bring up Minitab which you should be familiar with now and here's what it would look like now you have an F drive it'll have your D number on it instead of mine uh, here's a G drive that is common to everybody in the system and notice that there are folders for different classes most noticeably Matthew 21 if you click and drag over to your F drive it will copy all of those data files uh, some five megabytes worth of stuff and you'll have those available to you in your one gigabyte of F drive storage spot and it'll be easier when we do our lab because we use the same data file over and over again in all three labs and so as that's copying uh, wait patiently, make a sandwich, whatever, and then click on your F drive to make sure it's in there. There it is, Matthew 21, and then close out. Because if you try to open the files from uh, Windows Explorer, it'll give you an error because uh, the cloud server is not smart enough to figure that out. So once you're in Minitab, uh, you click on Open. You have to find your F drive, which is not hard. You just click on that down arrow, and there it is. There's the Math 221 folder, and there's that file. We're going to use this file over and over again in all of our labs. Look at that. All of this stuff, never mind this junk up here in the session. So if I were to do, say, the same thing that we did for that other video, uh, just do the descriptive statistics, I could pick something like, say, C3 column that's got temperature in it, and click OK, and it'll spit out for me. Uh, a variable called temperature, how many data points there were, 20 of them, the mean value, standard deviation, uh, quartiles, median, etc. And there you go.